bait. I need to uh, talk to you about something. Well, that sounds ominous. I, um, I got on the scales this morning. It's not great, like. Define not great. 177 pounds. What's the body fat saying? I was 14.9. 14.9? As in like nearly 15. Is that a problem? You're being. You seem weird about it. <laughs> Whatever. What are you doing? I'm going to have had enough. What do you mean? You can't leave me because I'm 15% body fat. I mean, 14.9? You're not the lad I got with. Babe, I'll get strength again. I'll lose it. Honestly, no more chocolate bunnies. I'll be around the party to pick up my stuff. What's up people, welcome to the video. So over the next two weeks, I'm going to attempt to lose as much body fat as I can, obviously without becoming malnourished or deceased. I mean, although being dead would probably make for a fairly shocking transformation pick. Anyway, if all goes well, you will see me go from a physique that is somewhat respectable, kind of lean compared to the average citizen through an epic transformation all the way to marginally leaner than at the start if you kind of squint and tilt your head to the side a bit. Anyway, let's just get to it. First, I'm going to show you the starting physique. So as you can see, this guy has absolutely no business having a fitness YouTube channel. To be honest, I always kind of let myself go quite a bit over Christmas, but this year I went particularly hard just because I felt like it really, and I have absolutely zero regrets. Anyway, let's just dive into it. I'm gonna smash these two weeks at the park, and if I'm still alive, I will talk to you in a second about exactly how I did it. calories and macronutrients. From experience, I know that eating around 3,000 to 3,100 calories a day will roughly maintain my weight as it is, so I took a healthy 600 or so calories away from that to get my starting calories for this mini cut at 2,400. I could probably have gone lower, but that's really as low as I can bear to eat appetite wise, so I'd rather just eat more and burn more than eat less and burn less. I go for about one gram of protein per pound of body weight, which rounded up slightly gives me 180 grams, and then 0.4 grams of fat per pound of body weight, again rounded slightly gives me 70 grams. Then the remaining calories are made up from carbs, so those remaining calories are the target calories minus whatever's already taken up by protein and fat. So that comes out to about 263 grams of carbs. I split the calories and protein roughly equally between three meals a day, with the carbs and fats just coming in sporadically. I stuck mainly to fairly standard meals, bagels and protein shakes, yogurt with cereal and fruit, cottage cheese on toast, mackerel or sardines on toast, salads, fish and veg, chicken sausages and eggs, you get the idea. Cardio. For cardio I did a brief session on the treadmill every single day, most of the time in the morning. Sometimes this was just a brisk walk, sometimes it was a bit of a jog, most of the time a bit of both. And these were pretty small sessions of around 20 to 30 minutes and most of the time the treadmill told me I burned around 250 or so calories so nothing major but I did want to make sure that I was still fresh enough to have a good weight session later in the day so I was careful not to overdo things. 
There were a few days where I went for a walk and got some steps in on top of this as well. Not really cardio as such, but it's still activity that's burning calories, so it all counts. Weight training, slash lifting, slash getting big. As for my weight training, I lifted six times a week. That was pretty naughty because I told myself that I'm gonna actually try and stick to just five sessions a week, but we are in a national lockdown and there ain't much else for me to do right now, so that's what happened. I'm following an adapted version of my full body training program, and that is just adapted to accommodate the equipment I have in the home gym. It's actually a five day split, but since I trained six times, I just rolled over into the following training week for that sixth session then picked up the following week where I left off. Generally, sessions were good. I didn't feel any deterioration in strength or energy levels, which can sometimes be associated with dieting. And that was probably just because it was only for a brief period of time. And when you're dieting for such a short period, you really shouldn't start to feel weak and lethargic and all that kind of stuff. If you do, you are probably in too much of a deficit and might need to revise that. So what about the result? Well, my weight dropped down pretty fast in the first three or four days, as is to be expected really, and then it leveled off and decreased much more gradually for the next 10 days. My starting weight was 177 pounds, and my final weigh-in came out at 171 pounds. So that is a six pound difference overall. I did get a low weigh-in of 170.6 pounds, which was a couple of days before the end. It would have been nice and tidy to have that one on the final weigh-in, but it wasn't to be, and at least it illustrates the non-linear nature of weight loss. According to the scales, my body fat decreased from 14.9% to 13.7%. I obviously don't place too much importance on that because it's probably not very accurate, and even if it was, your actual body fat percentage is largely irrelevant since the same percentage could look very different on different people as a result of different fat distribution and things like that so it's more about just being happy with how you look rather than chasing some arbitrary figure just because eight percent body fat sounds cool okay let's check the physique so we have the before on the left and the after on the right Hopefully that was obvious. So I'm just gonna roll through a few poses. Overall, I think I definitely look leaner, but there's actually not as much difference as I thought there would be. I was pretty strict with this two weeks, probably the most regimented and accurate and on it I have been with dieting for a long time. But I think the reason I didn't end up quite as shredded as I thought I would is because I was carrying a little bit more fat to begin with than I was in previous years. So the difference between 13% and 12% body fat will always be more visible than the difference between 13% and 14%. The leaner you are, the more every pound of fat or every percentage point will make a visual difference. And if you think about that on an extreme scale, imagine trying to tell the difference between somebody who is 30% and somebody who is 31% body fat, it would be literally impossible. So I think that was the reason that I didn't end up quite as lean as I expected to be, but still pretty happy with the overall progress. I mean, you can't really complain about it, can you? It's two weeks, it's literally the blink of an eye in the grand scheme of things, so still happy. All right, people, quick check-ins and check-outs before we go. So obviously, I am fully aware that it is ridiculous to make a full YouTube video about losing a single body fat percentage point, right? I, you know, I, 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 it did strike me on many occasions. You know, I, I do get the, I do often get the, is this ridiculous thought, followed by the, this is ridiculous thought, followed by the, you've made half a video now, so you better just might as well just carry on, right? But <laughs> the point is, right, it's largely irrelevant what actual body fat percentage I reside at, and it, it doesn't matter. The human race it is of no relevance to them whatsoever. But the underlying point is, it's pretty easy to just lose a bit of fat if you need to, like, you know, you can do a little short, sharp one over two weeks if you want. You can do a month, you can do something like longer and more gradual. The point is, like, you might not be going from 15 to 14% body fat. Like, I'd show you a full transformation from obese to, like, shredded, but it would entail me getting obese first and I'd 
I feel like that's not a good idea. Um, you know, you might go from like proper fat to like not quite as fat, you know, but it would all be the same methods. And the point is, it's pretty simple. And if anyone that you ever watch on YouTube makes it sound complicated, then well, either you don't understand or they don't understand or both, right? So that's it. I hope you found some, you know, I don't really know what I hope from this video. I hope it was good. <laughs> see you later. You see me rolling. They hating. Joe Delaney is my hero.